just pulled in to get my lashes done. Cause they need a feel. Oh my gosh. All right, see? Ready? One, two, three. That's better, so much better. I love when I get my lashes done, I feel like a new person. Okay, on to the next thing. Let's go to court. Yes, I just said that, for Curtis. Here we go. A couple months ago, uh, Curtis got angry at the house and punched a, whole few, uh, punched a few holes in my walls. The police got involved and um, they, today's the date. So, you know, they called yesterday and they said, what do you want done? And I said, I would like for Curtis to have a mental eval so he can get on the correct medication. Um, for those of you that don't know, I won't go into detail, but Curtis struggles with some things and he self-medicates with um, drugs and alcohol. And so I feel like this is an opportunity where Curtis can get the actual help. I don't want to prosecute him and have a bunch of fines and things that he'll never be able to pay. That doesn't even make sense. Um, I'm his mom, and even though he's an adult, with him in the court system and things like that, if I can help him, then I'll help him. I'm not, I'm not here to hurt him. Um, however, he might be angry when I say all this. Maybe he'll embrace that and be like, okay, sure. But I'm here, um, me and Austin were both subpoenaed to this court date. However, after letting them know what my desires or, or um, hoping that will happen, they said that we didn't, ha they were, we're no longer subpoenaed, but quite frankly, it doesn't matter. Um, I just want him to get the help that he needs. Both, both Austin are, and I are going to be there, but uh, I'm going in the courtroom. All right, so apparently I'm a jerk. Austin said I'm a jerk. I'm not mean, or I'm not nice. Went to one courtroom, <laughs> got up in the courthouse, or tried to find him on the papers, he's nowhere. And then I get a message, I, I message his attorney, I'm like, where, what building, where is he? And then they send me to this different building. So I go to the wrong, I go to the wrong courthouse a second time, apparently. Apparently this one building wasn't a courthouse. It used to be courthouse, but it's no longer. So I'm like, what the heck? So then I asked somebody and they're like, oh, it's next door in the health building. I'm like, what? So I come over here and it's got like WIC and all these like whatever buildings, but I'm like, what floor? So I get up on the third floor, walk in the courtroom and, and the attorney for the state and for Curtis literally are telling me that they forgot to get him to court. I'm like, are you serious right now? You forgot? You, you forgot to submit papers to get him to the court? Come to find out because it's a misdemeanor, he goes to a different court building and that's what they don't, I guess when they transport from jail, they don't normally transport to there. So they forgot to so they forgot to get him to the courthouse. So me and uh, me and Austin are standing there, and apparently I was rude because when they were explaining that um, the sheriff across the room says, "Yeah, well, we we have to organize. It takes some organization to get him here to this building because this is not normally where they transport." And I said, "Oh," and apparently, okay, I got it. Someone doesn't know how to organize that transport. Got it. That makes sense now. So because I said that. Austin said I was being rude. I'm like, uh, not on purpose. I didn't think I was being rude. I was just stating a fact. I'm annoyed that they can't figure things out. But this is also coming from a gentleman that left a message on my voicemail and called Curtis my stepson on the one call. On another call said my son-in-law. How can he be my son-in-law? I don't even have, none of my kids are married. How can he be, be my son-in-law? I'm just a little confused at that. Who cares? They're gonna do it all video court, I guess. So apparently they're gonna figure it out that way and nobody knows what the crap they're doing. 20, 24, 30, 40, what you doing? and 120 and we're done. Learning something your mom can't explain because it's common core. So, this is Khan Academy. 
this is my favorite resource I like to send the kids to when they need help. So they go through each of these little that's, videos. That's only me. And then the practice is the little stars. So they do five in a row, five in a row, and then a little review. Anyways, once he can figure that out, then he can get to his homework. We'll see if he can figure it out.